Hey everybody, welcome back to how to build a 105 Thunder Chief. Ten minutes at a time. Okay, that's what I'm doing. I decided to go ahead and duck guy's coat. No wings. I'm just using a spray bomb primer. Don't tell anyone. I got spray bomb primer. <laughs> But it don't take much. Just got to have a little bit of a different color. You know, bam. That's all you need right there. And then so thin it dries real quick. Let's dry it up. Now they, they actually make a stuff for this. It's a, like a graphite stuff. It's kind of pricey. You wouldn't think it would be. Sure is. Okay. Get that out of the way. Bam! We got one ready to sink. Sand too much, you'll actually get into the low spot. You don't want to do that. See? Right there. See, I got a little low spot right there. Not much, just a little. Some of them you can sand out. You know, you just got to kind of look it over, see if you can sand it out, if that needs a little filler. That needs a little filler. Not much, I mean, it's... But, when you get it outside in the sun, that stuff shows up. We can't have that. No, can we? Hey, I got an update for you guys on the bomber. Butches. Cutting out all our phenolic parts today. Well, he's been working on them the past few few days. He's got to get all them things drawn. And he's cutting them on a CNC machine out of phenolic. And I talked to him the other day. And he had them ready to start cutting. But he had to go to the dentist yesterday, so... I don't know if he started cutting on him or not. Oh, ain't nothing worse than a... He's got to have a root canal. So that tells me old Butch had a toothache. <laughs> That's a bummer, man. But uh, anyway, as soon as he gets to feeling better, I'm sure he'll get start cutting them. But all them flat tracks, okay? You know, in both wings and uh, the leading edge slats, there's over a hundred parts. <laughs> over a hundred. And he's, uh, he's got them all ready to cut, man. He's just got his machine. All he's got to do is slap that phenolic on his uh, table and get busy. So you don't 
have to worry about the real small stuff, you know. We just want any dips and waves. I ain't worried about little scratches and stuff like that. And there's another little spot right there. But that primer I used is actually a white primer. It's a it's for metal, but uh, it's the only stuff I can find that was a different color. I've had it for a long time. That's why I used to guide something. I'm all out of yellow primer. That yellow primer I used to probably work pretty good too, but I hate to dirty up a gun just for guide coating. You know what I mean? And have to clean it all out. And so that's why I keep the spray bones handy. Sanded out, I believe. This spot might here might need a freckle. A little bit of filler. If you guys ain't ever tried this guide coating and you want a super nice paint job, try it. Just when you think you got this your primer ready to paint, hit it with the guide coat. You know, I don't do it every coat of primer. This one, when you think you got that thing ready to paint, go ahead and mist it. And just kind of lightly sand it. And every little spot, man, bam, will jump out at you. Every little one. That's how you get that new Corvette looking paint job. On any plane you want to paint, if you want to spend the money to paint it, might as well make it nice, you know. Just a little extra step it takes, worth it in the long run. It's like these wings, I think a nice set of wings makes your airplane. You know, if your wings are ugly looking it, it just ruins it you know I think I really like my leading edges nice I'm kind of oh well, there's dad again hold on there dad See enough. Most of all that sanded out, except for a couple little bitty spots. Bam. And I'll fix them. And that'll be perfect. Now I can start putting my panel lines on. I'll make some more videos. I'll give you some more Bob TV today. And get these, get some panel lines on these wings. So stay tuned for some more Bob TV. Save Bob time. Same Bob Station.